One of the biggest days of the year for the WTVA Sports Department, it is National Signing Day, where high school football players all across the country make their official decisions on where they plan to play in college. WTVA Sports Director Jim Holder joins us with a look at what happened locally. Kimberly, thanks so much. And these days, we've got two of these signing days. There's the early signing period in December and the regular National Signing Day that we've become accustomed to here in February. Doing things a little different this time around. We're going to showcase different signees on different shows. We're posting them to WTVA.com. We brought you Satillo, Shannon, Pontotoc, and North Pontotoc at 4 p.m. And it was a big day at Tupelo High as five Golden Way football players signed letters of intent. Running back Jaquarius J. Rock Williams going to Northwest. Quarterback Stefan McGlon signing with Northeast. Defensive lineman Jaquez White signing with Kapaya Lincoln. Linebacker Keaton Cager signing with ICC. And defensive back Tyson Quinn signing with LaGrange College. That's a Division III school in Georgia. Back in December, Jordan Jernigan and Tay Standifer signed with Ole Miss. Tupelo head coach Trent Hammond proud of all his signees. They've been tremendous assets to our program, and then to get to, to watch them sign and play on and live a dream, uh, that's always good for me. It's, it's no big feather in your cap other than just knowing that you're part of watching some kids get to go on and do something that they really love. New Albany had a pair of players signed today. Quarterback Loden Boland signed with Millsaps as a quarterback, and Jaden Deaton signed with Northeast as an athlete. Both guys were instrumental in the Bulldogs' 7-5 and five season and third straight playoff appearance. Bowen says playing quarterback in college is a lifelong dream. And as for Deaton, he says he's got one goal. Move on to the next level, and then after that, move on to another level. And it's crazy to know not everybody gets this opportunity and to be blessed with the gifts that I was blessed with. It's been my dream for a long time. Ever since I started playing when I was little, I just wanted to be a college quarterback. And uh, for everything to work out the way it has my senior year and now to be recruited, it was a dream of mine. Plenty of other signees across the area today. Here's some pictures that we have received. They've been sent in at East Webster defensive tackle Rashad Hamilton headed to Mississippi Delta Community College. Meanwhile, Tishomingo County receiver Alex Cornelison has signed with Northeast. He only played four games as a senior due to injury, but he still had nearly 400 yards receiving and four touchdowns. He averaged nearly 23 yards per catch. And in Calhoun City, Jalen Armstrong signed with Kapaya Lincoln. Armstrong played on the offensive and defensive line for the Wildcats. Plenty of them today, that is for sure. So you may be wondering, what about Mississippi State and Ole Miss? Well, coming up in sports at 6, we're going to show you how the day went for both schools. We also have Division I assignees in the area that are going out of state. Be sure to check out more at WTVA.com. As always, until then, I'm Jim Holder, WTVA 9 Sports.